So now we've changed things up a little bit. Luke, you're once again behind the wheel, and we're in another one of the Volkswagen Group's MQB vehicles, the 2015 mm -hmm. Audi A3. What do you think of this thing out on the road here? Honestly, Craig, I'm a fan. I like the A3. I think that it does everything that it's supposed to very, very well. For example, it handles much better than the CLA 250. Mm -hmm. It's also very nicely isolated. It's quiet, and it does handle quite well, especially because the all-wheel drive system works splendidly well. And the other thing to keep in mind is that this car has the 2-liter turbo, which is the same as you'd find in the GTI. Mind you, just because it shares a platform with that car and because it has an engine in common, it is not the same vehicle. The steering is lighter, the suspension is more compliant, and you know, I think that's a good thing as long as that's what you're expecting out of it. If you think that it's going to be a sharper handling, uh, you know, sort of German sport luxury sedan, that's really not what you should expect. But if you're coming in expecting something that's a nice introduction to German luxury, something that's comfortable, then it hits the mark perfectly. Exactly, and another thing they borrowed from the larger Audis is of course their fantastic MMI system, multimedia interface, it's their in-car user infotainment system, and it's excellent. And the screen, I love it on the dashboard. It motors up and down, and that looks like it cost a thousand bucks on its own just to right. engineer that piece. You've got a, a great smattering of buttons down on the center console, of course, complete with a touchpad, so you can use your finger and write the, the letters and numbers for your destination, and you don't have to hunt and peck through a series of you know, a keyboard and it works extremely well and MMI is always very responsive and I'm glad they brought that down to the entry level A3. It works very well. I agree completely and you know the other thing I really like about this car is just the premium quality of the materials. Again going back to this versus say a CLA 250, um, it really does just feel like a scaled down Audi product. It wouldn't feel out of place besides some of the larger and more expensive models. Everything fits nicely and you know one of my favorite things about this car, it's a small touch but when you rotate the bezels around the air oh, vents, yeah. You get this little click every time you go to one end or the other, and it's just, it's so satisfying. It I, feels, I, I love it. So premium. Craig, wake up. Whoa, 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 calm down. I'm sorry, this is the A3. It's just putting me to sleep a little bit. It's kind of boring. That exterior styling, it's tastefully done. Yes, I know, it looks premium, it borrows other Audi Qs, but it's just so dull. I don't agree. Honestly, I think it's really good. I think it's attractive. It's attractive, but it's boring as, as all get out. Let's well, leave it at we'll, that. We'll have to agree to disagree well, on that one. Well, that's because you're wrong, you know? That's the end of the story. I'm not that's wrong, it. you're wrong. Get, you are wrong. This car is duller than a burnt piece of toast. You know what, why don't you just get out? Why don't you stop this car then? I am done. I have had it up to here, oh, and I'm only sitting. Sure. Fine, leave me here. Leave me here! The car's still boring.